Springbok coach Heineke Meyer has made three changes and one positional switch to his starting lineup to face Argentina this weekend in the final rugby championship clash in Durban. You're watching News 24 Live. I've got Rob Howing from Sport 24 alongside me to get his thoughts on the team selection. Rob, good afternoon. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Nick. Pleasure. First impressions? Um, not terribly surprised. I think there'll be a lot of people who would have wished for a little bit more in the way of experimentation with the World Cup sort of, you know, so close now. And a lot of players uh, uh, sort of in need of game time. Um, and, uh, you know, so you'll never please everybody, will you? I mean, the, no. that, that's the bottom line with, uh, with any sort of Springbok choice. Um, I, I always felt that he would stick with the nucleus. Uh, in other words, sort of, you know, two thirds or more of the side that, that played the All Blacks, given that they so nearly beat them. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, as much as experimentation is important, uh, it's also good for the national psyche if you actually are winning matches. Um, and we need to win this one. Yeah. Uh, there's no question. And I think uh, Heineke may well have figured that, uh, you know, the, the nucleus of the side that, that came so close to beating both um, Australia and New Zealand yes. should therefore be capable of, uh, of seeing off Argentina, hopefully reasonably comfortably. Uh, in Durban. So um, that may have been part of the rationale. Um, still a few debatable uh, issues. I mean, the fact that Andre Pollard uh, had had sort of concussion, mm. residual concussion issues, um, uh, sort of led you to believe that perhaps he would uh, uh, take what seems the sensible route of, of a, a weekend off yeah. um, and not, not be considered to have been dropped. But, uh, you know, he's also, he has been ditched before and sometimes it's taken a little bit of the confidence out mm. of him. And also, um, you know, he, he seems to be coming into a little bit of form uh, after a sh slightly shaky stint. He wasn't always convincing in Super Rugby and then seemed to sort of struggle a little bit initially at the start of the test season. Um, and he's just come more and more into his own. And perhaps uh, Mayer's thinking is, you know, let's let the kid kind of keep developing his confidence. Yeah. So, so keep him sort of undisturbed. Of course, a lot of people in Durban will be a little bit disappointed mm. that Pat Lambie stays benched um, after sort of doing a fair bit of the sort of media frontage uh, yeah. in the lead up days. Well, there's been calls for him to get more game time ahead of the World Cup. Yeah. I mean, do you personally Personally, which who do you prefer to see at pivot to come the World Cup? Look, I, I'm 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 quite well inclined towards Pollard. I think he's mm. got huge potential. I like the physicality that he brings to the to the channel. Yeah, um, he's incredibly creative. Um, I'm a little bit worried about his his uh, his tactical kicking uh, mm. and his place kicking at the moment. Just seems a little bit out of kilter. Uh, but again, this might be an opportunity to sort of iron out yeah. those those flaws. Um, but look, I'm also a great Slamby fan. I think he's a fantastic uh, utility player. Mm. Um, so in a sense, maybe he's his own worst enemy. Because he's so versatile, he is seen as a sort of a super mm. sub uh, person. Although I've got to say, I would have loved to have seen him get a start either at 10 or 15. Um, the interesting uh, thing from this combination also, I think, is that Jesse Creel, partly to placate the people who are saying, how can you drop Jesse Creel? after you know mm. such barnstorming uh, sort of debut displays if you like uh, has found a spot still in the side yeah. except that it's now at 14 um, because the big news of course Jean de Villiers yes. coming back into the into the mix which is um, that's a major development uh, a start at last for Jean de Villiers after his you know terrible uh, injury mm. in Cardiff um, so huge focus on how he goes um, and ma massive relevance to the fact I think that he's been picked at outside center um, I've been suggesting for a while that perhaps the, the combination, if uh, Mayer is hell-bent on Jean being his skipper and yes. playing regularly at the World Cup, that the best place for him is perhaps to play at 13 because he is very versatile. He can cover that position mm. very comfortably. And uh, Damien Dalende, frankly, has been so good for the whole year. If you go back into Super Rugby with the Stormers as well at 12, that it makes sense, I think, for him to, to stay there. And who knows, maybe Jesse Creel um, will find a starting uh, berth regularly at the World Cup either at wing, where he's playing now, mm. um, or even at fullback, where he also offers, offers options. Mm. 